大家好，欢迎收看文美集团美国升学直通车。文美集团美国升学直通车是华人网和文美教育集团联合制作播出的北美首档大型的网络直播教育节目。在我们的节目当中，你将会了解到最新最权威的教育资讯，还有升学的建议。在我们的整个过程当中，无论您是学生还是家长，有任何的美国升学教育问题，都可以给我们留言。首先，还是来给大家介绍一下文美集团。文美集团是美国著名的大学申请及规划辅导机构。二十年规划经验，在美国洛杉矶、纽约、芝加哥等十二个城市设有服务中心，为广大华人子女提供教育服务。文美集团专注于美国大学升学规划服务，教育学博士加常春藤名校面试官顾问团队，中美双顾问模式，为六到十二年级学生提供最好、最全方位的教育服务。欢迎大家扫码或者是直接搜索关注文美集团的微信公众号“美国文美”，及时了解最新最全的美国升学资讯。如果想跟文美的客服互动，请在节目播出期间扫描屏幕左下角的文美客服二维码，或者直接搜索微信号“文美集团”的全拼音添加。文美的咨询热线是幺八八八七八九零九四二。好的，下面我们邀请文美集团的美籍顾问康奈尔大学的面试官 Mr. p e a r 来为大家分享，目标是计算机专业的美高学生要如何来准备大学申请。那请问一下万博士啊，其实现在来说啊，计算机专业是不是还是未来非常热的热门的一个专业？对的，我觉得计算机专业未来还是二十一世纪嘛，信息化的时代，计算机还是最前沿的呃技术和科技啊。那当然，随着这个人工智能的不断的普及，尤其是这个 Chat GPT 的不断的普及，有些人说他是不是不用学计算机了？其实昨天我还在和一个计算机的专业呃人士探讨这个事儿，他说计算机专业肯定还要学，是吧？那么为什么呢？就是 Chat GPT 这些只是一个工具，那么你要维护它，要发展它，你还是要学从最基本的计算机的。这些东西用计算机的人才来维护，就说啊，那 Chat GPT 都能编程序了，那那那那那那我们还学什么？我们不用学 Python， 不用学编程了，错的。其实你人还是要呃学这些东西，然后你才能把 Chat GPT 的错误检索出来。机器它是会犯错的啊，对吧？所以这种情况下，计算机还是非常重要。那而且事实呢，也是我们的华人对于一个技术性的职位，又是技术，又是高薪，又是有发展空间，又在美国亚裔得到了在这个行业的认可的。情况下，那我带的学生里边，可能十个学生，估计有六七个在一开始的时候都要想学计算机的这个情况啊。当然，你适不适合那是另外一个话题啊，咱们今天不做讨论。那么 ，Mr. Pierre 呢，他也是呃，我美集团的这个美籍的顾问，他同时也是本身就是康奈尔大学计算机专业毕业的啊，所以呢，他在讲这个如何准备计算机，如何是不是让自己适合这个呃读计算机，以及如何准备。呃，把自己变得更强大这一点上来说，他应该是非常有发言权的啊。所以这个，呃，今天呃，跟让皮尔啊、呃、跟大家分享一下啊、呃，这个他的一些经验和总结，希望对我们有所帮助。哎，是的，非常感谢万博士。呃，首先谢谢皮尔先生啊，可以分享他的这个自己的经历，还有这样的一个呃目标。那么希望呢，对这个呃想去考计算机专业的朋友有所帮助。我们下面来看皮尔先生给大家的介绍。Hi, this is Pierre for Winmay. Today's topic is getting ready for the computer science major as a high school student. The scope of this discussion includes up to applying for and affiliating with the computer science major once you're actually in college. So the first point that we'd like to talk about is you want to explore your interests. Computer science is a very, very broad major. There's many different areas, many different topics that you could possibly be interested in. So you're encouraged to look at things like programming languages, web development, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, or data science. In other words, look at videos about it. Ask people that work in the field.、Um, you know, you can check out textbooks. You can check out courses online, free courses. You can also consider paid courses just to get familiar with the topics. You can do your own research. And basically, get an overview of what each type of element looks like,、uh, whether it's artificial intelligence or cybersecurity, so you can get a feel for what type of work is done and what type of thinking is required. The next thing you want to do is build a strong foundation. So, with computer science, this means you want to have a good foundation in math. So that includes things like algebra, geometry, and calculus. So this is 
focusing more about what to do once you're in high school. So you definitely want to be doing well in your math courses. That logic and that type of thinking and finding solutions and problem solving is going to be very important for computer science as well. Beyond that, you also want to consider coding. So you want to learn programming languages. For example, one very useful language to learn would be Python. And with once you learn that language, you can branch into other languages like Java or C++ or even JavaScript. And you can do this through online tutorials, coding camps, also part of your school's extracurricular activities, like if there's a computer science club, a programming club, some schools do comp competitive programming. So you definitely want to be well versed in programming and different languages. That's going to help you build the foundation for the coding part of computer science. In addition to that, you also want to seek other learning opportunities. This includes summer programs, it includes after school programs, this, in this includes online courses specifically, you know, things like dual enrollment where you're taking computer science courses out of college as a high school student. So you also be one, you, all, you might also be wanting to attend things like hackathons, uh, join coding clubs, you know, the, the scope that you can access uh, other people that are interested in the major or learning about computer science is very broad. So there'll be plenty of opportunities, you just have to look. And you can also take uh, like a competitive programming course online that teaches you like prin principles and problem solving that will prove useful down the line. But in the end, what you really want to do to put everything together is work on projects. So it can be something as simple as building a game like tic-tac-toe where you're learning different things. You can code an artificial intelligence to learn how to play different games, for example. Or you can work on something such as uh, something that can compute a certain function. Like if you give the, the, the program like some x-intercepts that can generate the polynomial for you. So you can start very simply and you can move on from there to more complex things. But beyond that, you also want to think about what types of jobs you'd be able to apply for as a computer science major, because you definitely want to look ahead. You want to see what types of things are available to you. So considering job prospects, job placement and things like that will also be beneficial as a computer science major so you can see where you'll be getting value with your degree. Um, the next thing would be as I was always being involved in things that are STEM so anything related to STEM that type of thinking that type of research and just handling the data and information anything that gives you experience with that will prove useful for computer science because you're essentially doing the same things. It's a scientific way of thinking, and that's where you're going to be applying. Beyond that, you definitely want to be looking at computer science programs at different colleges. You want to see what are the resources, you know, the college ranking, the program ranking. You want to see what are the admission statistics of people that get in, like GPA, the SAT score, and things like that, so you know where you stand and how much work you have to do to be competitive. And the other thing about college admissions as a computer science major or a prospective computer science major is that it is a very competitive major. In fact, it's probably one of the most competitive majors, if not the most competitive major. So your admission path is typically going to involve you applying to either other majors or undecided. And this is because the criteria used for computer science major typically will be more competitive. It'll be harder to get into computer science. So what you want to do is you want to get in typically as a different major, complete the requirements for the computer science major, and then go ahead and apply to the computer science major. So you should still have done all the coursework in college, including things like calculus and geometry and algebra, even statistics will prove useful. Obviously the programming courses, um, this includes like AP Computer Science Principles, AP Computer Science A, AP Computer Science AB, and any other courses beyond that that you would access through dual enrollment or online. So you wanna have the foundation and then once you get in to college, you can take those programming courses because you already have the requirements to take them 
for instance, you'll complete a, a computer, you'll complete calculus BC, for example, which will be a requirement typically calculus one, calculus two before you can take uh, maybe like an intro to programming course. So, and if you do well on the AP computer science exams, you might be able to place out of having to take an intro level computer programming course and you can jump into the intermediate programming course. So you can save time and also kind of work ahead if you if you take that approach. And the last thing is you want to definitely think about what you really want to be doing with computer science because there's a lot of different fields. So you want to keep continuous learning and keep adapting. You want to maybe talk to professors. You want to be involved in research, see what kind of projects professors are working on at leading universities, visit different universities. For example, like MIT and their AI lab that they have. And really it's, it is a very competitive major. You want to build the foundation and you also want to make sure that you're doing all the hard work in terms of increasing your chances of getting into a good school, which includes things like GPA, extracurriculars, and standardized test scores, including the SAT, of course. So what will a computer science major look like? So for that, I definitely want to refer to Cornell's computer science major. So you can take a glance at the type of courses that will be expected of the major. So. You want to complete a calculus sequence, so this will typically be calculus 1, calculus 2, and calculus 3, or otherwise known as multivariable calculus. So you see the two sequences here. Uh, for arts and sciences, it's this sequence, but for arts and sciences or engineering, you can also take this sequence. You have to take a computer science course requirements, including the intro programming course. So that would be CS 111 or CS 211. And then there's a five computer science course core. So you'll see the different courses here. And for example, CS2800 is discrete mathematics. So there is a there is more math that you'll have to do in the computer science major. So again, but having a strong foundation in mathematics will help you. So essentially what you'll be doing is right from your very first semester, you want to be taking courses. If you haven't done so already, the calculus sequence uh, if you haven't done so already, the intro programming course 211 is typically required. You have to take at Cornell itself, um, but you might be able to play this out of CS111, which is the intro level. CS211 is intermediate. And for these other courses, you would also be taking them spread out over your semesters so that by the end of your sophomore year, beginning possibly with your first semester junior year, but usually you want to have maybe by the third year, third semester at Cornell or in the college that you're interested in, you want to be applying and affiliating to the major because by then you'll have done a decent amount of these courses. So for example, if you completed Calculus BC and got like a four or five, you'll place out of Calculus 1, Calculus 2. So you'll start basically by taking Calculus 3. And then if you place out of Computer Science um, with through AP Computer Science A or AB, then you'll get credit for CS111. So you'll start with CS211, that's your first semester. The next semester, you could already start taking, for example, both CS2800 and CS311. And uh, third semester, you'll probably be taking these two courses. And there's also a probability requirement. So that's that information is down here. So. Uh, I don't think that you can get credit for AP statistics, so you'll have to take a, a computer science course in probability. And it shows you all the courses that will be accepted for that requirement. But again, the point is that you'll be working toward this major. So even if on paper you might be, um, let's say like, a, you know, like a less competitive major, for example, like a psychology major, you'll be completing the courses like if you were a computer science major so that by the time you're done, you'll affiliate to the CS major and you'll apply. And of course, assuming you have all the requirements and the grades, because there are grade requirements for each of these courses and GPA requirements that you have to maintain, then you can go ahead and apply to the major successfully and get in. 
and then from there you can take more upper level courses for example the 4000 level courses which are typically senior level courses or go even beyond that so that's basically what the major will look like and you can start to work on that regardless if you've applied as a psychology major an english major and the idea is that you want to build a pathway so that you can become more competitive and have better chances of getting into the actual major of choice which in this case is computer science so those are the tips of how to approach a computer science major as a high school student and beyond and hopefully you found this useful thank you P R 先生的分享，也谢谢万博士今天跟我们的分享。有任何的问题，大家都还是可以直接来咨询唯美集团。唯美集团是美国著名的大学申请及规划辅导机构，二十年规划经验，在美国洛杉矶、纽约、芝加哥等十二个城市设有服务中心，为广大华人子女提供教育服务。唯美集团专注于美国大学升学规划服务，教育学博士加常春藤名校面试官顾问团队。中美双顾问模式为六到十二年级学生提供最好、最全方位的教育服务。欢迎大家扫码或者是直接搜索关注唯美集团的微信公众号“美国唯美”，及时了解最新最全的美国升学资讯。如果想跟唯美的客服互动，请在节目播出期间扫描屏幕左下角的唯美客服二维码，或者直接搜索微信号“唯美集团”的全拼音添加。唯美的咨询热线是幺八八八七八九零九四二。感谢,谢大家收看我们今天的节目，我们下期见。